all right guys welcome back to another video shout out to all my homies all my warriors out there it's friday today um happy friday hope you guys are having a blessed day whenever you're watching this <clears throat> so let me say this man um <laughs> from this point forward this is when i'm really like so deep into my pleasures um i'm still in the gym i'm still you know like maintaining that discipline but guys, I didn't even really vlog that much when I was in Patong Beach, my first time there. And that was because, honestly, I didn't like Patong Beach at first, man. I really didn't like it. I thought it was too crowded. I thought it was too noisy and it was too tight. But um, I actually ended up going back there because I made some friends. And um, <laughs> I'm drinking so much at this point, guys. Like, I have... Like all these clips of me just smoking and drinking and I, I could post it, I could post every bit, but I don't want to, you know, seem too much of a, like a bad influence. Like I'll still be real with you guys, but like, bro, I, I don't, I don't want to just like promote that, you know? And I, I want to let you guys know that I actually, I haven't even, today is July 19th. I haven't even, uh, I, I'm actually taking a break from, from smoking and all that stuff, but yeah, there's a lot of a lot of just drinking, man. I didn't even vlog that much because I was just so in the present moment. And honestly, like I really, I, <laughs> I really, really wanted to go back to Pattaya at this point, which is what I did. But um, there's really not much I did the first time I was in Patong Beach. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, kind of a long video, but. Yeah, that's it, man. And uh, just trying to think of what we did. I mean, you guys will see. You know, I just I just thought I'd point that out there. That time I wasn't uploading. <laughs> Actually, I remember um, I did upload like a semen retention video around this time, but I could not even stay consistent, bro. I'm just drinking. The first time I even, I think I, I mentioned this in the video, the first time I ever touched down in uh, Patong Beach, I just went straight to drink it. I probably had like three drinks back to back, like three bottles of chong, bro. So it is what it is though. Last day here in Pattaya, beautiful Pattaya. I did not vlog today because I wanted to enjoy my time to myself. But for this beautiful day, I'm gonna finish it with some more partying. Okay, starting off this vlog a little bit late. We are just having some barbecue, Korean barbecue. Woke up early today, man. It's currently 1 p.m. I woke up around probably like 7 or 8 though. Uh, spent some time we're at the beach, just chilling. And moving on to another journey. So I'm just thankful, man. You know, very thankful for the experiences here and uh, it's, it's so much to learn every day so much more to do and bro I'm definitely coming back here bro to Pattaya this place has a special special spot in my heart and um, you know I, it's like I almost feel like a local here Despite, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not Thai, obviously. Although some people have thought I was Thai. And, um, you know, I don't think it's too much different from the Philippines. Because I think with Asian culture, it's very, like, family-oriented. And very close, very, you know, very much bonding with each other. And... You know, Thailand is, is really peaceful in, in my, so far in my experience. And I haven't really had trouble here, man. You know, like, there's a lot of partying, really. But other than that, there's really good vibes overall. But, man, I feel like time is going by pretty fast, bro. Um, this week went by pretty fast. And, like, when you're just 
enjoying life, man. Cause like you really gotta soak that up, man. I was even telling him like it's not even enough storage, enough footage to really like capture that moment. Because I, I think that experience is is something that it grows with you, it impacts you, it changes your life. It changes your mindset on, you know, culture, changes your, your mindset on, that, on uh, you know, just life. Right? <coughs> um, yeah. having some chicken I already ate and uh, man I had a beer I ain't gonna lie to you guys man the beer here is freaking good bro that chong that is some good ass shit man and uh I probably drank like six last night <laughs> seven last night yeah. so that chicken's good yeah so anyways we about to enjoy this meal guys Man, I haven't even uploaded a vlog. I don't even know when I'm gonna upload next, but I'm not even really thinking about that. Just enjoying. So this is um, that's some pretty good egg. This is the uh, Korean barbecue place at Central Mar Marina. If you come to Pattaya, you won't miss it. It's a very it's a big area. And um, I'm out. But I can honestly say, guys, that I really made sure to make the most of every moment here. And I did that through partying, you know, just staying up on it. But that's what I enjoy. That's me personally. That's what I, a vacation is, right? Is to take time away from work and enjoy your own time, whatever that means, right? I think I mentioned this before. And, um, yeah, man. Most importantly, just be in the present moment, man. It's gonna be times where you, you might think like, this is what I realized while traveling. Like you might think like, ah oh, shoot, um, maybe I can't afford this, maybe I can't do this. Man, you really gotta, you gotta toughen up, you know what I mean? You gotta have that survival mentality and that will. Um, y'all keep the bracelet too. Bling, bling, bling. Anyways, man, let me try this chicken. So the Korean barbecue place that I've been to in Canada, they usually have the uh, stove right in front of you. Over here, they gotta plug it. But this, you know, something different. It's interesting how they do that. <coughs> it's actually pretty good. Good, right? Some good fried rice for you. Taste that garlic. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty simple. Um, you know, you guys see I'm having rice and chicken. Simple, keep it moving. Man. Spicy? Come here. Is it spicy? That's for all my followers out here, bro. Cheers to the good times and the bad times. Yo, I feel like I'm dreaming, bro. Oh, 
mama. <laughs> she looking at me crazy, but I feel like I'm dreaming. Nah, no thank you, brother. No thank you. But you know what, man? Be thankful for life, bro. And be grateful for everything, man. You know what I mean, I think it's a lot of times in life we put we put our um. <laughs> I'm trying to say. Bro, what I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, is. Like, man, I just, when you go somewhere else, bro, and you talk, you actually communicate with the locals there, it, it impacts your life really differently, man. In a way where, you know, there's, there's certain things that can't do that. You got to learn through experience. And that's what I learned coming here, man. And I tell you guys, you know, if you... If you ain't got that, if you get that chance, bro, man, get out there, bro, and really explore, explore the world. Because it, it's times in my life where I just felt like, man, what the hell am I here to do, you know? But, ultimately, bro, that, that comes with time, and I'm still... Okay, so we're here at DMK Airport. Um, I forgot how to pronounce the full thing. I think it's Don Wang, Don Wong, something like that. <coughs> but uh, fuck, man. I always say, bro, I'm just so thankful, man. Like every day. It's 5:55 right now. Sun is setting. But I'm just thankful to be here, bro. Thankful to experience life. And like Patea, bro, it it's just incredible, man. The people out there, absolutely incredible. The vibes, the nightlife. I'm freaking gonna miss that dude. But you know, I'm gonna go back. But yeah man, I'm just chilling here. <laughs> Y'all peep the shirt though, so shit go hard. Freaking love the Thailand merch out here, man. Um, yeah, man. Just been enjoying, bro. Enjoying. Taking it one <coughs> step at a time. And uh, loving, the, loving the journey. That's what it's about. Loving the journey. Still haven't uploaded. Just because... I've been just really soaking up the, the time here, man. The experience. Yeah, bro. We'll catch you guys on the flight side. We got our flight in two hours. Not too bad. It'll go by fast. So. If 
finally made it. It's about nine o'clock right now. It's raining outside. I gotta say, I really like Thailand's airports. It's just chill, chill vibes. Um, <laughs> Cause I can think about, uh, and this is no disrespect, but I can think about the Manila airport. It's like a freaking jungle over there. But here it's it's pretty pretty controlled, man. Uh, <coughs> it's pretty fucking cold too. Uh, I think my body has completely adapted to Asian to the weather in Asia, where it's just you know hot and warm. But right now I'm freezing my ass off, and it almost feels like I'm in Canada or some shit. I don't know. Those guys bring a t-shirt. It's coughing. It's still getting better. Um, I'm thankful for this guy, though, man. Thankful for this guy because uh, he really helped me out do it on this trip. Helped me grow as a person. And, you know, I don't think... It's a, it's a team effort, man, you know. I get you claim. I think... Okay, go. But, you know, it's a, it's a team effort. Um, I usually roll solo dolo and I think I could have, you know, definitely done it, done, done this trip by myself, right? But to have that extra hand to help somebody out and to have, um, you know, you guys look out for one another, it's a, it's a different feeling, man. And it definitely makes for good memories, it makes for a good bond. And, you know, thankful, bro very thankful guys I, I just I've met so many great people on this trip man I I really can't <laughs> stress that enough man the people I've met is just amazing man and you know every everybody I've met is just it's all in here now and in here and you know I definitely I definitely keep it dear to my heart I keep it close to my heart because it's part of character development it's part of spiritual evolution and that is something that you know it's, it's just life man life will teach you like that life will teach you like that when you go to different places when you experience things when you talk to different people you are in a different environment you know because with, with every environment, man, is a different reality, bro. There's a different reality, and it, it'll give you a, a more open perspective on why human nature is human nature. Why people do certain things, why people move a certain way, you know? And, man, it, it is a blessing, bro. It's a big blessing for me to be able to come out here and record come out here have fun come out here vacate come out here you know like drink every like man to drink every day of course still keeping it controlled but you know drink responsibly you know smoke some weed man go here go there that's a blessing man there's not a lot of people that can do that not a lot of people can do that bro and i'm thankful for my passport you know, it's allowed me to do this, right? So, like I really thought about that, bro. It hasn't even been a month since I stay here. And it's only, it's only gonna, you know, keep growing, man. You know? Like, I'm not a people person, bro, but... I fucking love talking to other people, man. When, if I'm on vacation, I love hearing about other people's um, upbringings, see, hearing their story. You know, so that's all I got to say, bro. Um, I'm gonna catch y'all. When I catch y'all, we're gonna take a grab to the to the hostel. So I'm, I'm gonna catch y'all there. Right? Y'all be easy.
first impressions of Phuket, Phuket so far. I mean, it's dark and it's raining. <laughs> it's like nine o'clock. So I can't really say, but I say this area kind of kind of reminds me of Manila, and um, it looks a little bit bigger. But this is just one area, right? <coughs> and uh, shit, man, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I just can't wait to, you know. Get at the hostel and uh, crack one open. Bro, that Chong over here, man, is some good stuff, guys. And I'm not even really a, a, a beer type of person. You know, I really like San Miguel Light, too. But I say that the Chong here is just <coughs> perfect, man. It's perfect. There's a little bit of uh, what I'm seeing. This area looks like it's not much of, uh, it looks more uh, resident residential it seems. I remember in uh, Pattaya it's almost like a lot of people got their own shops. Here I'm not really seeing much shops, it's more so, you know, you got a 7-Eleven right there. But it seems like... You know, it's a lot of houses, more quiet, a lot of buildings. But man, Thailand is just is such a great country, man. And yeah, like I said earlier, people are great, man. Very ho uh, hospitable, hospitable, if I'm saying that right. Um, shit man like <clears throat> you know the thing is about uh, <laughs> um, I remember this about myself when I go on vacation guys you know when I interact with people that's cool right there when I, inter when I interact with people and I bond with them like I hate leaving them man I hate saying goodbye it's, it's really tough for me because you know you start to think about like man like you know I might not see this person any, ever or you know if we keep in touch it's just life is not promised right and so for me I'm just glad I got a picture with a lot of locals a lot of different people and you know, I really talk to them. Even there's days, guys, where <clears throat> like I wouldn't feel like talking to people. I wouldn't feel like conversating or saying hi or something. But you know, I would tell myself, like Mario, Monte, you just, you know, what I mean, like put yourself out there, bro, just this one time, because you really only get that one chance. And bro, everybody's appreciated, man any little support um service that they provided me whether it be at the 7-eleven that you know gave me a haircut so many great people man so many great people right and man i feel like i've been repeating myself but that's that's really what's been on my mind today and earlier right and you know i'm, I'm chilling with our friends we have enough great ass time man that's one of that's one of the best things i ever experienced in my in my 22 years of being on this planet and i was telling her too like i'm just so thankful because that type of experience bro i don't experience that in canada and that's why i love coming to asia because it's like i can relate just relate to people everybody in asia i think i can relate to um in some type of way or form and even today, bro, she, she spent the night with me, looked out after me. I was shit-faced drunk, drunk again. Put the, dropped me off at the hostel. Spent time with, spent the night at the hostel. You know, um, checking on me. Uh, like, I'm giving her 
like massages we enjoying each other we laughing talking conversating you know it's just it's nice man it's real fucking nice because i like i told you i don't do this at where i'm where i'm from i was even telling her i don't do this in canada i'm not the type to to go out to a club especially in canada bro because you know where i'm from it's kind of a small world and you know word goes around people know each other so i don't want to mess around there and like you know hurt anybody or you know what i mean it's quite dark right now you guys can't even see me probably but that's just my thoughts bro um i've been doing a lot of reflecting today and man i love this country bro Catch you guys with Austin, man. Okay, so we are pulling up to the hostel now. Guys, it's dark right now, but I can tell this place is freaking nice, dude. It's freaking nice. It's high end. Just by looking at these shops, um, it's a, a bit of a similar vibe to Pattaya, but. This is definitely different, man. This, I'm pretty sure this is the beach right here. You probably, you guys can't see it. I can't see it. But, <coughs> fuck, dude, it's pretty nice out here. And I'm just happy to see um, more A-ball pool, more, you know, bars. I love, I love being with the ladies, bro. Um, if I get the chance, I'm gonna get out, get out there and, uh, you know, go play. Man, that spot is just perfect, though. That that last place we stayed at, I think that's really the most perfect spot because it was by the beach. Great environment. Uh, we got a good price for the private room. And, you know, it's just close to the bars. You're close to the... Oh, that's the beach right there. Yeah, Patong Beach. Patong Beach. But, um, man, it's pretty crowded here. Definitely a lot of life. Definitely. Seems more modern. Or more, um, yeah, I guess fancy or high-end, whatever you want to call it. Compared to, uh, compared to Pata. Man, I'll never get tired of just being with the women here, man. I think the the Thai women are definitely special, bro. Wow, look at these trucks, though. Yeah, trucks with the lights. And you know, I'm I really don't mean to say that in a disrespectful way, but if you guys come out here, man, you know how how they treat you. You know what I mean? Bro, they treat you like a god over here. Even, even the, the low, just the locals in general. <coughs> God, this place is pretty fucking popping, man. Um, looks more, I guess, compact or close ra rather than with um, Pattaya. Pattaya was very, uh, like, open, you know, very spacious. I think here it, it definitely. Okay, that's our hostel right there. Here it's more, it's a little more tighter. So I mean, we're gonna check in right now. We just pulled up. All right, so just pulling up to the hostel. This is what I see. Fucking fancy, bro. I didn't think this was this fancy, but this shit is like like hotel. Not it. Oh, okay, never mind. There's a yeah. Okay, there's a hotel. There's the wrong one, but you really thought. <coughs> 
It's currently the next day. Um, trying to figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do. It's a different vibe over here, man. I don't know. It's pretty nice though. But uh, I'm gonna do some exploring. Take y'all with me, alright? this resort they got that gym they <clears throat> i just came back from their gym right this is the taipan resort in uh, phuket so they also serve, serve you food here if you want some food even if you don't stay here and they got a shower it's pretty nice here man let's try the food i got i got me some lasagna i forgot my gopro actually it's recharging but let's try it out Fries are okay, pretty good. It's fresh and it's hot. So my fat ass decided to get another meal. This is a, like an omelet with toast. Omelet with toast. Did I say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's try the omelet. Good, man. I think they added cheese too. It's fucking good. So, got some more food. Killing it, man. Killing it. Freaking hungry.
Another hit for Mr. Restores. So, I haven't even uploaded a video in so freaking long. I really need to. And I don't really, I don't remember. I don't think I vlogged last night. Oh, man, I ain't gonna lie, I've been drinking a lot. Um, I think the alcohol is like fucking me up a little bit. So I'm gonna uh, chill on that. <laughs> but, you know, I'm still chilling. Y'all see my room? I don't know if I showed you guys my room. It's currently... 626 I got a roommate here this is bear packer hostel um, yeah let me show you guys the card actually I'm not gonna do that um, I'm just not gonna do that so I'm about to go hit up a 7-eleven probably um, but I get some essentials and then after that, I come back to the hostel and then I vlog my way on my way there. So it's currently nighttime at um or in Thailand, right? In Phuket, we're gonna go cool some weed, but we said Phuket, and so we're here at Patong Beach. For me personally, I prefer um, Pattaya Beach better or that that area better. But I'm slowly getting adjusted to this one, and I'm thankful to still be in Thailand. To frick, man, to make it this far, it's just been so much live things. I think Asia is just very live in general, and so. <coughs> but you know, I'm so, I'm chilling, man. I'm just about to brush my teeth and get out there and then cleaning up. But I got some cashews right there. I don't even know why I bought cashews. I don't really eat cashews that much. But whatever. Got my headphones right here. My Sony's. Put that stuff there. Yeah, man. We'll get to it. Pattaya was really fun. I do plan on going back. You know, it'll be fun. But till then, we are in Patong Beach. Phuket. So, oh, let me actually charge my portable charger. Guys, one of the reasons why I haven't really vlogged, too, was because of the fact everything has been on low bat, and usually I'm charging my phone because I'm more active on my phone. But I do have to remind myself I got to rotate in terms of charging. So, I'll see you guys. Okay, so let's get going. So you can't wear shoes in the friggin' in the hostel, but I suddenly wore my shoes. So So this is the fourth floor. They call it polar. Pretty. So that's just a, a laundry area and a staff area. This is more rooms.
What's good, bro? I'm heading down first. I'll be back. Okay, yeah, you'll be here? Yeah. Alright, bet, bet, bet. I'll be back. Is my brother up there? Or what? Is no. That... No? Oh, no, no, I think he came back. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. The people here are kind of weird, bro. Um, they're a little bit crazy. Not <laughs> that's not that's not an insult, by the way. But they're definitely it's just it's just a different vibe. You know what I mean? I'm not here to insult anybody. I have a high respect for Thai people, but I think the people here are a little bit more hectic. You know what I mean? So we gotta go up there, and then we gotta what we gotta do? Go to the 7-Eleven. feel comfortable recording like during the with the uh while i was in the street so i was like okay i'm just gonna stop recording and here i am now at the 7 like a 7-eleven guys is freaking essential here and uh you know it's a little convenience store and 
and uh, just picked up some water. And I always get these too. So, um, how much? How much? This is 49 baht, and then this one is, I don't know, like 7 baht, 10 baht, so 50 plus, and that's 60 baht total. Um, let me calculate that for you guys. It's pretty, it's not bad out here in um, Thailand. <coughs> so we're gonna go to back to Canadian. So you guys know I'm in Canada, so let's do 50, that's what, 50, I said, let's just say, say around 70, yeah, that's not bad, 60, I'll go find out, but uh, not too bad in my opinion, and yeah, I always get them, so, yeah, man, I think it's still, um, Expensive in Canada. I think it's still expensive in Canada. But yeah, it's not too bad, bro. Ooh, this is what I need too. I need a toothbrush. So let me actually go and freaking calculate this right now. Go to the counter. I only need one. Frick, man, this. Little, um, let's get this one. So y'all see the Asian snacks though. I love seeing Asian snacks. Even though I don't eat Asian snacks. Um, it's just cool, you know? Check this up. Check this up. I'm about to drink some. Excuse me. You are a Sorry. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. 
It smells good in here, man. It's Halloween tomorrow. I'm kind of hungry, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Let me see what they got. I'm craving like <laughs> I'm craving bread, even though I already ate so much. I actually eat this right now, they got a little area. I can't believe I'm eating again, bro. Oh, I already ate so much. I mean, it's pretty dry, but you get what you pay for.
miss the smoothie shops in uh, Pattaya. Had a lot of great uh, memories at, that, at those places. I think I haven't really been able to find one. Just a lot of massage places, a lot of food, a lot of restaurants, but not really. Uh, I don't really see smoothie places. Thank you.